the time to hit the full speed. So first you try to divide this huge polynomial with this linear binomial in 15 seconds. Then I'll tell you the fast way of doing it. Start. Your time is up. The correct answer is x square minus 7x plus 3 and the remainder is 2. So could you get it? Now let's see the easy cal way or the faster way of doing this algebraic division. So you start by dividing the first term of this dividend by the first term of this divisor to get the first term of the answer. x cube divided by x will give us x square and we have the first term of the answer. Now as you can see that this step remains the same in both the usual way that is a long division and your easy cal way. Now if the power of x is 2 in the first term of the answer so can you guess what would be the power of x in the next term of the answer? It will be x is to power 1 that is just x isn't it? As you know that the powers of x they gradually go down so let's quickly find out the second term of the answer. To find the second term, all you have to do is put plus 2 over here. That is the additive inverse of this constant term. So basically whatever it is, just change the sign and put it there. As simple as that. Now, to get the next term of your answer, all you have to do is multiply this plus 2 with this x square and add it to the next term of the dividend. So 2 times x square is 2x square and 2x square minus 9x square will be minus 7x square. So we will put minus 7x and this will be the second term of the answer. We did not put minus 7x square over here. Why? Because we knew that the powers of x will gradually go down. If this is x square then the next term will have the power of x as 1 and following the same logic you can guess what would be the power of x in the next answer term. If here it was x to the power 2 and here it was x to the power 1, then here it will disappear completely. So it will just be a constant term. So once again, repeat the same process. Multiply this plus 2 with this minus 7x and add it to the next term of the dividend. 2 times minus 7x is minus 14x. Minus 14x plus 17x will be plus 3x. So we will put plus 3. And we have got the final answer. Now in case you want to find the remainder as well, then you can also do that very easily. Once again, do the same thing. Multiply this plus 2 with this 3 and add it to the next term of the dividend. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So the remainder is 2. Now tell me honestly, isn't that amazing that using this simple easy cal trick, we could divide this huge polynomial directly and we not only got this quotient but we also got the remainder and unlike the usual way that is that long division this space is still lying vacant see this method is so neat and compact I have one more very good news for you with this easy cal trick you have not only learned to do the algebraic division in few seconds but you have also learned how to solve a cubic equation. I don't know if you realized it or not, but this was a cubic expression and you so easily factorized it into this quadratic expression. See? That is what solving cubic equations is all about. So aren't you happy now that with this multipurpose easy cal trick, you have already mastered the topic of advanced algebra, that is how to solve cubic equations. Okay, so now you divide this algebraic expression and I'm sure that you don't need more than 5 seconds. Start. Okay, so now let me do it for you. 3x squared divided by x will give us 3x. Put minus 4 here. 
minus 4 times 3x is minus 12x minus 12x plus 14x will give us plus 2x. So, we will put plus 2. We are done. This is our quotient. Well, if you will ask me the remainder, I will tell you the remainder as well. The remainder would be minus 4 times 2 is minus 8, minus 8 plus 8 will be 0. So, the remainder is 0. Isn't that easy? So, do this one. Once again, you are getting 5 seconds. Start. So, dividing the first term by the first term, we will get 2x. That is the first term of our answer. Put minus 1 here. Minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Minus 2x plus 7x will be plus 5x. So, we will put plus 5. Question solved. This is our quotient. Well, if you want to find the remainder, then be my guest. Minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. Minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So, the remainder is 0. Now, as you know, that division is supposed to be the most difficult operation of mathematics, isn't it? You ask anybody that which operation he or she finds most difficult to do. Is it addition? Is it subtraction? Is it multiplication? Or is it division? 9 out of 10 times, it is division that wins the title of being the most difficult operation of mathematics. And look at you, you are doing the division and that too, the algebraic division, the most difficult division known to mankind. And you are doing it directly in just few seconds with so much ease. Well, that's the magic of these easy cal tricks. By the way, in the next video, you would be learning the easy cal trick to double check the answer. Then not only you will be dividing the algebraic expressions like these very quickly, but you will be double checking your answer in no time. You will never make a calculation error.